Hey, so we've dropped down into Goland for the next video, which we're going to talk about the changes to the HTTP uh, routing, which probably for a lot of folks, including myself, means we may not have to depend on third-party libraries as much anymore because some of the nice benefits that third-party libraries supported, such as Gorilla Mux, are going to be more natively available to us now. So the first thing in the release notes that caught my eyes is this one. Registering a handler with a method like post items create restricts invocation of the handler to a request with a given method. So let's see what that looks like. So on the left here, I've got Go121, uh, Go and on the right, I've got Go122 set up. So in Go121, let's imagine that we wanted to set up a function that, uh, we want to set up a, a handler that uh, only accepted post requests for a specific item. So the um, example they give is slash item slash create so let's do that, this in uh, Go121. Uh, so I'm just going to do http.servmux or mux.handlefunk and I think it was slash items slash create. Uh, let's get Golan to help me figure this out. So this is uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to do uh, format.fprintw and then do item created. I think it's actually called writer, isn't it? Okay, and let's run this and see what happens initially. So it's running, and now let's make a... Oh, I forgot to serve uh, the router. So let's do http.list and, and serve and at82 and box. Let's go again. Okay, it's running, and let's go over here and do a post request to the endpoint and it says I've created. However, you, I also can make a get and I can also make a patch and I can also make a delete. So this isn't necessarily what we wanted. We wanted post to work, but we wanted to restrict it to only that verb. We didn't want people to be able to call this endpoint to get. It's kind of confusing if you can make a get request and it creates something. So what we typically would have to do in Go121 is I would do something like if request dot uh, method does not equal http dot method post uh, and then maybe I'll do w dot write uh, or writer dot write http dot status uh, could be bad request or um, probably inc probably the four or five is what I want I can't remember exactly what the uh, method not allowed that's what it's called isn't it. Um, Right header is what I want, isn't it? And then return that. So let's rerun this. And let's make a request again. And I get a method not allowed now, which is great, but hopefully the post still works. Cool. So in Go 121, this is maybe how we would achieve this outcome. Let's see how we might do it with Go 122 and the changes that have been made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code over to um, here which is Go122 on the side. And one thing that's really nice is I can achieve the same thing by removing all of this code and just writing the word post here. So I'm gonna run this now. And I come over here and I'm gonna click this one. As you can see, it works fine. But if I try and make a get request, it says method not allowed and I get the 405 method not allowed. So this is a really nice uh, change. It just means look how much clearer it is compared to this one. And it's uh, much more succinct. So this is really good. Let's take a look at some of the other changes. So wildcard in patterns like item slash ID match segments of the URL path. The actual segment value may be accessed by calling the request.pathValue method. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Looks like. So this is a Go122 thing. So look, we're going to ignore Go121 for now and just make uh, this 122 side nice and big. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this to be items slash ID. And here I'm going to try and get that. So I'm going to do ID equals uh, request dot path value ID. And so we've got item slash ID. We've got ID. Let's change this to uh, the printf version of the function, function. And then we can put ID here. Let's stop and rerun this. and come over here and run it. Item created three. Perfect. So that's a nice little change. Uh, previously I was using Gorilla Mux to do the mux.bars to be able to get values like that. So this is really helpful. 
So what else have we got? A pattern that ends in slash matches all paths that have a prefix. A pattern that ends in slash. A pattern that ends in slash matches all paths that have it as a prefix, as always. To match the exact pattern, including the training slash, end it with dollar, as in exact match dollar. So let's see what that looks like. So let's come over to here and do, uh, we can get rid of this. Let's just start from the beginning actually. So let's do mux.handlefunk and we got we can do slash exact match dollar and do the funk. And then let's do a format dot print print. F print W and an exact match. And let's try the other example as well, which would be um, this one, which would just going to be a prefix match, isn't it? And so let's do HTTP dot listen and serve et eighty two and mux, and let's run that. And so now if we do um, exact match three, we should make the prefix match. And if I do this one, I should get the exact match. Back to release notes again. Cool. So I think there's some, some really nice changes that will make the um, HTTP serve marks like a little bit more useful. I must admit, I tend to pull in a third party library just to handle these exact scenarios, being able to pull things off the request, being able to restrict the method very, very cleanly. Um, so I'll probably be using this a lot more now. So yeah, this is a really positive change for me. The last thing to talk about is this uh, wildcard match. So wildcards and patterns match segment of VLs. We talked about that bit. A wildcard ending in dot, 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 like file slash pass must occur at the end of the pattern and match all the remaining segments. So let's see what that one looks like. So. If we take something like, um, let's take the example they gave again. So we can do mux.handlefunk and we've got slash files slash path like this. And we do funk and then let's do a format.fprint like f this time and do w uh, writer file file paths equals percent. Uh, and then path. And then I also need to pull path off r dot request dot path value. Path. Uh, so let's run this and see what happens. So for this to be a wildcard match, what we're basically saying is we should be able to go to slash files uh, slash a, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you see that it's wildcard matched against all of them. So we've managed to grab all of those values in, in a single um, in a single request. So again, very, very useful. Um, I don't know if I'd use this one that much. Uh, I, I prefer to pull specific values off a request, but maybe the specific use cases where this will be useful for folks. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, I think this, these are a lot of really positive changes. As I mentioned before, I, I tended to depend on third libraries for these things, uh, and these are all going to be available to us now natively in, um, as part of the Gold Standard Library. So, so I'm really looking forward to these.